you must be delighted with that, Holly, first game of the yeah. season. Of course, I'd, you'd take a, a win because uh, it's about points, first game. Then again, uh, the performance second half was uh, very uh, pleasing. I think uh, that was the big plus. Coming into half time, I think we were a bit lucky because they uh, pinned us back, created chances. But uh, we settled a few nerves and uh, a couple of things at half time, and I think we second half performed really well. <coughs> uh, there was a piece in, in the Sunday Times today where Graham Sinest said that uh, Marcus Rashford is not ready to be the main man at Man United and that he never would be under Sir Alex. Uh, what's your answer to that after this, this performance? Well, I think Marcus is developing and he's developing really well. Uh, he's growing, you see his stature now, his, uh, his body is capable of playing more, I'm sure, this year. And yeah, he struggled with his ankle. Uh, Last season, so this uh, this year I expect more from him. Is uh, but the whole squad we're fitter, we're stronger. Uh, I, I can I think you can see that second half that we're more more than capable of lasting games. You must be um, pleased with the way you've changed things around in terms of the confidence and the momentum from the end of last season to to now. And much of that was done in pre-season, I think. Yeah, we've had three, uh, no six six good weeks, uh, but it's still a uh, work in progress. We're still know that we're uh, we're not uh, anywhere near the finished article i think we've we've got loads loads of uh, improvement to be made uh, first half was an example of that then we settled down a couple of ner a few nerves uh, straighten out a few things and second half you see the confidence grows we kept the ball miles better especially after 3-0 do you, do you think that Pompa uh, with the passing that he created those the third and fourth goals. Do you do you think he shows why he's such an important player for his team? Well, I think Paul can do many many jobs. He can do the attacking midfielder job, and today he's more of the link player. And when you've got Lindelof, Maguire, uh, and David at the back, uh, they can feed Paul the ball as well. So he'll get the ball in good positions. Paul can do everything a, a midfielder can and um, today he was asked to play that sitting role and uh, first half I thought Chelsea peg, uh, pegged us too much back so he had to do loads of running uh, down the channels with Barkley. I thought they created uh, a few problems for us then but then he, uh, we're fit and he's fit so he can, uh, that third pass is a fantastic pass, the fourth goal or oh, the th third goal, the pass for the third goal was fantastic. And the run for the fourth, I just wanted him to go all the way and then just open up your legs. So. I think it's the first Very clean sheet good. since the Liverpool game in February. I mean, yeah. great result, but how much of an impact did Maguire and Wan-Bissaka have on the team in particular and the defensive side of it? So. I think they slotted in really well. Of course, Harry's just had a three or four sessions with the team, and but he's such a, an experienced pro that wants to learn is we've had a couple of uh, talks with him as well how we want to play how he normally defends how he plays so um, that will only improve and with Aaron is is so aggressive doesn't want to get beat tackles um, so he's a proper Man United defender how, yeah, how much does it help sorry yeah. oh, I know it's a collective uh, team effort but just going back to Paul how impressed you with his commitment and his focus Given everything that happened over the summer, with the off distractions about his future, as agent speaking, is that testimony to Paul's mental focus? Well, I've always said he's a top, top lad and he's such a professional and he loves playing football. And when he gets onto that pitch, if it's training sessions or if it's behind closed doors match or at Old Trafford or even here, he grows more, of course, when he comes here. He's, he's got that. He's a World Cup winner. He knows. He's come so far in his career and there's no no point of uh, letting yourself down when you're on that pitch. He just wants to play and he's confident, wants the ball all the time. Yeah, he lost it a couple of times, doesn't matter. Get on the ball again and play. Sorry. Yeah, winning 4-0 in the opening match, and still talking about his things to improve, how intriguing is that as a manager? That's the job of a man manager, that we always have to improve and we, you have to look behind the results. I would have said the same if we'd had a different result, that this is a work in progress. And the boys have been excellent since 1st of uh, July. They've been excellent over before 1st of July because they were fit enough for us to 
implement what we wanted to. And um, we know it's just the start. And we know there's relationships to be worked. Uh, the more we understand each other, the more we get to play with each other and show that we're a team, it's, um, it's going to improve. What's the situation of Alexis? Alexis came in uh, very late, so he's had now almost two weeks of training. He's had uh, a game behind closed doors against Blackburn, so he, he's getting closer to full fitness, so no worries about him. How oh, helpful yeah. has it been to be able to work with, with a relationship of, of Rashford and Martial on top of this season? And what's going to change compared to last season in, in Rashford's uh, movement and positioning on the pitch? Well, he's getting fitter and he's, getting, uh, he's a year older. He's, we've had six weeks to work on a shape that we want to look like and he is exceptional when he uh, when there's space in behind and runs and the third goal is just he almost got the same against Christensen in in uh, Norway but he, his touch let him down finally luckily or luckily thankfully he um, he brought it down today well, the average age of the team I think today was around 20. 24 yeah I think 24. Well, without David, it was 23 and a half. Between yeah, but David's part of the team. He's always been part of the team. And he's, uh, he's contributed on and off the ball today. But outfield players, I mean, how pleasing is it for you, given you selected such a young side and you, you, you know, expressed and said that we've invested in you from giving you a chance? How impressed were you with the team and, and how much vindication do you feel? With? I think, we, as I've said, we're, we're going to improve. It's a team that is going to improve. We're nowhere near what we can be. And... Um, or that we have to be, because we have to play better than this to, uh, to get results against uh, loads of teams. Then again, uh, it's, we've got some experienced boys helping them. Ashley, Nemanja, Juan uh, behind here, that's guiding these boys as well. And, uh, but David's part of the team. <laughs> Holly, you've, been, you've obviously been a striker, you know how much forwards thrive on goals. How, how important for Anthony? and Marcus to get on the score sheet straight away. Very. It's always important for a striker. And then, you, but the thing is, how, we, how do you react? How do you drop your shoulders and I've scored my goal now? Or do you get hungrier and realise that's where I score my goals? It's not out wide on the, on the left-hand side uh, showing my skills. It's in that box and I was so pleased for Anthony scoring that uh, five yard, uh, from five yards after a cross, because I, I don't think we've seen too many of them. OK, last two questions, one there and one here. Can I just go back to Dan James? Yeah. Where he's come from and his choice of rise, how yeah. was it to score that goal, to sort of show him play this level? You know, suddenly you become a good player, don't you? No, it's, it's hard work and dedication, and the boy is exactly what you want from a, from, from a professional. He's got skills, he's got this, uh, you know, his pace and X-factor. He's had his ups and downs and he's worked really hard and I'm so pleased for him. Uh, his summer has been one of very much ups and downs, as we all know. And to get score his goal in front of uh, old Stratford End must be uh, such a proud moment for him. Do you think this game, Ollie, shows that you've got a very clear vision of the players and the team that you want and the style that you want and how it's going to work? I hope so. Uh, as I said to the boys before the game, we have found a way that we want to play, that we believe in, that they've made us as coaches uh, believe in, and just go out and do the same. And we took risks, I know, uh, but that's that's the way here. You've got to go for it. And I thought we uh, it's risk and reward, and today we were rewarded. Okay, guys, okay. thank you. Thank you. Cheers.